Hey everyone, I have some auction wins from Encore. Stick around and we'll see what we got. That's right guys, we're back and I have some auction wins from the app Encore, which is a marketplace app that allows you to sell and buy um, fun mainly Funko Pops, but it's gonna expand into some other collectible type things. So I downloaded the app and uh, went on the site around Memorial Day weekend and uh, I'll give you a little bit more information about Encore in just a minute, but uh, I was able to pick up these six wins uh, and was super excited about that. And uh, so I wanna show these off uh, to you. Um, and so, like I said, it's a, a new app called Encore and it was introduced to me and, and a bunch of others on Slapshot Pops live stream. I think he had a couple streams uh, where they focused on this and so i was intrigued by that and, and decided to download the app and i'll leave a link down below uh, if you'd like to go check that out for yourself it does work on uh, apple devices as well as android devices uh, i know before i downloaded it they said that uh, it might be a little glitchy on the android uh, but they were working on that so it hopefully it will be fixed by the time you would download that but uh, i got, got these six wins and i went on uh, like i said over the memorial day weekend and one thing i will tell you about the app be sure that whenever you're ready to put in a bid that you don't just tap on the button like i did i missed out on the first two auctions that i wanted to get try to get something and I was tapping on the button and nothing happened. Well, there's two arrows next to where it says bid and you're supposed to slide the button. So make sure if you wanna get a bid in, that you slide the button to the right and uh, they'll lock in your bid for that moment and uh, everything. So again, the link's down below uh, in the description. Uh, if you'd like to go check out Encore and um, Check it out and see if you can win any pops. And they have a buy it now section if you don't want to uh, go through the auction aspect of it. But what sets this app apart from Whatnot is Whatnot is an online uh, live auction. Uh, so you have to be on the site when the seller is live uh, and go through the auction uh, at that point. This one is video. And so the seller will record a video of the product, tell you about its condition and any other important information. And you can go on there anytime, watch the video, see if that's something that you would like, and then you can place a bid. And uh, usually anywhere from two days to six days is when the auctions will run. And um, you know, you'll be notified if you get outbid uh, and before the um, auction goes off, uh, there'll be a little notification saying, hey, it's about to end soon. So uh, I think it's a really good app and I know that they're working on making better improvements to it. So anyhow, let's dig into these and see what I got. And uh, I will put um, some images uh, over here or the spinner videos over on this side of the screen. Uh, so you can see a better uh, image and uh, close-up of these pops. But I guess I'll start off with this, this big box here uh, that came into a, a Funko uh, box. And this is um, the R2-D2 and R5-D4 two-pack. Uh, I saw the seller uh, put this put this up and I was like, well, I never did get an R5-D4. I've got a couple of R2-D2s. And so I thought, you know, it would be good uh, to get another droid. And if you can get an R2-D2 with it, how, you know, how great is that? So um, this one was from uh, the handle name at Mr. Movie Elf. If you go on the app, 
you might check out some of his stuff. And I won this auction for six dollars, six dollars. Um, and then after the shipping and the fees, uh, it was actually twelve dollars and eighty cents. And so they had good bubble bubble wraps in there, and then the pop itself was wrapped in this. And full disclosure, guys, these packages were already open um, because I had to make sure that they came in good condition because on the app you have, once you receive it, once it's been delivered to you, you have two days to do a review uh, to where you either rate uh, the seller by stars from zero to five, uh, or and then you can also leave an optional um, message on there describing how the experience was or the condition you found it in, whatever um, you want. And so you have two days once you receive it to get that on and it will, as soon as you go into the app, when you've done that, it will leave a pop-up and say, hey, you have a review uh, and then you just go ahead and do it and then you're done. So I had to do all these when these came in and I was hoping to get this video up about a week ago, but I was waiting on one of the pops to finally arrive and it did today. So I'm finally able to start recording this video. Um, but anyhow, here's, here is the R2-D2 and R5-D4. This was from Star Wars Celebration 2023, so just about a year ago. Uh, and so this is an awesome two-pack. And there you go. And uh, like I said, this whole thing cost $12.80 to ship it to me. And um, according to the Hobby DB app, uh, it's worth $22. So that's about 50% off of what I would have done if I would have bought it somewhere else. So not bad. So I was glad to be able to pick that up for my Star Wars collection. Okay, and the next one, I'm gonna go with this white box here, with a single pop. And this is from uh, Funko Project X. Uh, another seller on uh, Encore. And so, uh, and all these boxes came packaged greatly. Uh, either bubbles, wrap, uh, different things. And, you know, they send little shipping labels uh, in there or little printouts of the, of what you, you got in here. This one I thought was unique. They used some uh, little corrugated um, hexagon um, kind of paper wrap, uh, craft paper um, situation. Put this in, they had a little paper at the bottom um, to help give it a little bit of extra padding. Um, but this pop that I won on the auction is uh, from DC Superheroes. It's a Hot Topic exclusive, and it is the Black Lantern Reverse Flash, number 68. And uh, I love Flash, and I'm a big DC collector. Um, and so I uh, wanted to pick that up. I saw it, had an opportunity to pick it up pretty cheap. Um, and so I wanted to get that and uh, mm -hmm. I won the auction for $7. And then by the time shipping and, and fees were added in, it was $13.43. Now, unfortunately, the Hobby DB app says that this is valued of about $10. Um, so I ended up spending a little bit more, but when I won the auction, it was still under the value of the pop. But even if it's just a few dollars over, uh, that's still a great looking pop um, to pick up for the collection. Okay, so these next three boxes, I won on three separate auctions from the same seller. Um, so I'm going to start with this one right here. Okay, sorry about that guys, my battery almost died. Uh, 
So I, like I said, I uh, picked this up uh, from the same seller, won three separate auctions. And this one, uh, all three of these pops are from the Hunter Hunter uh, anime series. And so I needed to pick them up for my collection. And so this first one is uh, Killua Zoldic. And um, this is number 1317. It's a box lunch exclusive. And mm. I won this for $3, $3. And then with shipping and the fees, it came to $9.32. And um, it has an $11 value according to HobbyDB. But this seller was cool. Uh, he, put a little handwritten note in all the boxes it says, thank you for your purchase. Hope, uh, hope you enjoy your pop and goodies. So, um, what were the goodies? Well, the goodies were one piece, uh, card game cards, uh, in Japanese. And so I had to look these up and they're probably worth just around a dollar maybe a little less uh, each. And so each one has uh, two of these in there. And so um, I'm not into one piece, at least not yet. Um, and I don't do the trading cards or card games or whatever. So um, if you like any of these and you would like those for your collection or whatever, just hit me up. Uh, my Instagram link will be down in the description below and you can get a hold of me and say, Hey, do you still have these, uh, one piece cards and we can work something out. So we got a couple of those. If I was into that, that would have been an awesome gift, a uh, little extra goody. So he wrapped this with plenty of craft paper and that is awesome. Oh, and by the way, all these pops came in a protector. Um, so, and then there's a little craft paper in the bottom. Wrapped in bubble wrap. Um, so, the shipping on these packaging, uh, just excellent. And maybe too excellent. I can't get it out of here. Uh, Okay, here we go. So we have Killua on his skateboard. Uh, this is number 1317. And uh, it's really awesome looking uh, pop. It's kind of more of an active pose as he's riding his skateboard. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, but it's a shame it's only worth about $11. Uh, it, anywhere really from $8 to up to $15 somewhere would be his value. Uh, looking at past sales and things uh, over the last few years. But uh, so that's a cool pop for my Hunter Hunter collection. This second pop is also uh, a Killua Zoldic. And as said before, um, there was two one piece, uh, trading cards or game cards, uh, in here. So that was kind of a neat addition, more craft paper. Again, the pop is in wrapped up in bubble wrap. and a protector. Uh, so this one, Killua has a yo-yo that he uh, imbued with Nin, which is kind of their uh, magical power uh, that they have on that um, anime. And so, um, this was a cool thing. I love how they have the yo-yo string and, and everything like he's getting ready to use that uh, power. 
And so, yeah, so number 1156, um, an awesome looking pop uh, to add to the collection again. And then the final pop for uh, my Hunter Hunter collection. Um, and quite honestly, I stopped watching during this arc of the, the thing. Uh, it's during the Chimera Ants um, arc, uh, which a lot of people say is probably the best arc in Hunter x Hunter. Uh, I just didn't get into it the first few episodes uh, and I quit watching. So I'll have to go back and try to catch up on those and, and maybe I'll have a, a, a different point of view um, once I watch it again. But you have two more um, One Piece cards. And so that's neat when sellers add a little something extra uh, to your win. And again, more craft paper. And a Funko Pop wrapped in bubble wrap and their craft, craft paper down in the bottom. Um, so this character, uh, is P2. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and she is number 1231. And um, she's kind of like a cat um, or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, it's a Funko.com exclusive. And uh, she's just kind of sitting, uh, I guess, cross-legged, it looks like. Um, so I'm not sure, but she's kind of got a, like blue hair and everything. So, so I said so a lot. Um, so Pitu or P2, um, picked her up. And then finally, the one that I've been waiting on for the UPS, or not the USP, the United States Postal Service to deliver this 13 days later. Uh, it actually got about an hour and a half away from my house and then they shipped it back to the processing center that's about six hours or more away from my house after it had already been in San Francisco. Uh, and it was there for two or three, four days. So a little frustrating on the shipping, but this pop uh, I won on Slapshot Pops auction there on Encore. And this one I had been waiting for for a long time, not literally in the shipping but just since it came out i always wanted this pop and it was in a marvel collector core uh, box and uh, i wished i would have had that and um, everything and i've never found one at a decent price and so i saw the auction and i thought hey i'll just jump on there and see if i what i can do and if i win it i win it if i don't i don't uh, but I actually won this auction for $8. And with the shipping and everything, it cost $14.86. But Hobby DB is valuing this pop at $32. Now, uh, I didn't go in and really check and see what past uh, values had been. Um, sorry, I didn't have my knife with me um before but when this pop first came out i think it was well over a hundred dollars for a while um so it's come down to 32 dollars and everything but it's still a neat pop and once i get this thing opened <laughs> you'll see what it is uh. And again, Slapshot Pops, link to their channel and go check them out on Encore whenever they post uh, some pops up for auction. But uh, this was the pop and then a bubble wrap. 
inside a protector. They always ship within a protector. And that's that's awesome. And here it is. This is the Avengers in-game 481 Captain America with Molnir, where he's holding Thor's hammer as well as his shield. Uh, Captain America, his shield. Um, this was just a, an awesome looking pop, and I've got several Captain Americas uh, over there in my collection. And uh, ever since that, that pop came out, I really wanted that. And so now I have it. And uh, so I'm glad that I was able to win that for $8, and the value's around $32. So you can't complain about that. So, guys, uh, tell me which one was your favorite on the day. Um, was it the R2-D2 and R5-D4 from Star Wars? Was it Killua or P2 from Hunter Hunter? Was it the Black Lantern Reverse Flash? Or was it Captain America? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. If uh, you like the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you really like the video and would like to see more content, would you please consider subscribing to the channel? If you do, please make sure that you click the bell notification so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video or if I go live. Um, and uh, that way you can keep up to date with everything that goes on here with the channel. And guys, thank you for so much for spending your time with us today and have a blessed day. We'll see you next time.